This is tutorial number 50, and it covers how to create a custom part template for your SOLIDWORKS. Now you'd want to create a custom part template so that for every part that you make, it has the same dimensioning standards, and also it's made of the same material. Now to start off, let's click Tools, click Options, click File Location, and you're going to again have to choose where you're going to be saving your template to. I have this file as where I'm saving mine to, and I've already added it. And once you've done that, click OK. And let's click File, click New, and open up a brand new part. Click OK. Now, within this part, this is an old template that I've already made before, and it already has the alloy that I've chosen. For this, let's change the material. Let's right click on it, click Edit Material, and let's make it 2014 alloy. Click OK. And let's also change the dimensioning standards in this. Let's click Tools, click Options click Document Properties, click Units, and let's change it from millimeters, let's make it centimeters, and we'll make the decimal places four. Click OK, and now let's save it as a template. So let's click File, click Save As, click Part Template, and let's save it as JP1. Click Save, and now let's see if it worked. Let's close this window, click File, click New, click on the Templates tab, click JP1, click OK. And now we have the 2014 alloy as our material. And if we look in Tools, Options, we can see that the unit standards is in centimeters and to four decimal places. So, so we've successfully created a part template within SOLIDWORKS. This concludes our tutorial of how to create a part template within SOLIDWORKS.